Hello. Jim, what did uh, Tremaine Brock's first interception do to set the tone of this game? That was a huge play. Uh, great to great to see um, Tremaine because he's such a great guy. You know, he's such a great worker. He's such a uh, great team guy. He was in perfect position, played the coverage uh, perfect, and, uh, and then finished the play. And then, you know, get, got another one for us. And, uh, you know, either we got points off all the turnovers or, uh, in Termaine's case, he scored the touchdown. But that was, I mean, huge, great way to start the game. Did you get to emphasize that during the week that turnovers might be a plenty uh, this game? Uh, no, I mean, that was not any more than any other week. But uh, it was... It was great to get them, and they came in bunches today. Jim, you, you went going with, I think, call and only had six completions, four of them in the first drive. Is that a good thing that you could win easily and not have to throw the ball that much? Well, there's a lot of great things to point to in the game. Uh, you know, uh, I thought, first of all, great playing defensively by Vic Fangio and staff, uh, executed extremely well by our defense. Uh, Will Hoyt Bowman, um, you, you mentioned. Uh, Jermaine Brock and some, some great play, individual play uh, within the scheme. Uh, offensively, I thought we had a great plan. Greg Roman had a, had a great plan called a great game. Um, and our coverage units were, were outstanding. We ran the ball well. Um, <clears throat> penalties were low. I think we had maybe three penalties in the game. Uh, just a lot of good things to point to that uh, result of good execution by our players. You say it was generally a pretty conservative offensive game plan. Going into this. I saw it as a well-executed game plan, uh, you know, in every in every phase, and that's uh, you know really pleased. Uh, guys were uh, executing well. Penalties, coverage units, uh, uh, you know, just about every area you look at was was uh, extremely good. Some some big some big plays in the in the passing game. Uh, you know, really a uh, big shot in the arm with with Vernon uh, and Cap. On the corner route, just a lot of a lot of things, a lot of good, a lot of good play. Need to see Gerard Eddy get an interception, you know, snuff out a drive, and uh, good, good. Was it black and white whether Patrick was going to play or not? Um, he was uh, he was really trying to, you know, really eager to, and uh, we just uh, made the decision uh, really right before game time that. Uh, Best not to, uh, to to play. You know, didn't want to didn't want to do anything stupid. With, with Michael Wilhoit stepping in with a second straight pretty good game, the, did that play into it? And you know, having confidence that he can step in and do the job. Well, we, I mean, we, we have confidence in uh, in Michael. Yes, but I mean, that decision not to play Patrick was was uh, based on what we thought the smart thing to do was, and uh, and then. Michael's performance uh, was outstanding. I mean, he's he's one of the you know guys you're really going to highlight after after this game, along with Navarro and and Ahmad Brooks. Uh, you know, there's a there's a guy that uh, you know he does so many things for our defense: pressure, uh, run game, uh, knocking it down, knocking down the edges, which was so important in in, in today's scheme, going against the zone uh, running game. And he does it with very little fanfare. I mean, there's never any, uh, there's no sack dance he has. There's, uh, you know, he just, he just doesn't call a lot of attention to himself. And he's a, he's a, he plays every game, you know, game in, game out, tough, a uh, lot of energy, just, uh, just another guy to highlight. Do you have an early indication on Ray, Ray's uh, arm? Uh, no, no, uh, no early indication. See uh, tomorrow, look at it in an MRI. Jim, Jermaine Brian uh, is flying decline interview requests this season. Is he really quite uh, with you in this point? Not really. No. <laughs> no, he's he's uh, <clears throat> in, in, in all in a good way. He uh, you know, he's got a he's got a great personality. He's not a he's not a guy that talks, you know, just to hear himself talk either. But uh, you know, he's. Good, good personality. Good to be around. Everybody enjoys his company, and uh, you got a got a very good sense of humor. Uh, it's just great teammate. Everybody everybody pulls for him, and we, he stepped up huge tonight. Jim, after the last game, a couple of your players said they kind of 
refound your identity, physical, whatever you want to call it. Do you think the last couple of weeks, and you talked about yourself, you're facing adversity. Is that what's happened with this team, kind of rediscovered who we are? I think any time at the beginning of the season, uh, you know, you, uh, you, that, that's, that's forged by how you play in, in, in these early games. Uh, you know, your team's done a great job of focusing each week, practicing hard uh, every practice, and, uh, you know, that's all being forged now. Eric Reed. I don't know if he just, you know, just necessarily just picks it up from one year to the next. I mean, every year's a, every year's a new d year in terms of establishing what your identity is. Eric Reed has continued to progress. Uh, really strong, aggressive, and run support. What are some things you saw today that really stood out to you from, from the rookie safety? I thought, uh, you know, even the one, the one he broke on, it was, it was great to see him diagnose the play. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sure he wished he would have caught the ball, but uh, it was great to see him break on the ball and, and uh, you know, be in that kind of position, you know, because once you do it, then you, you know, you, you know, you get the confidence that you can do that and, uh, you know, again. So, and uh, doing a good job in the open field, making tackles. Uh, a physical player had one probably that he would have, you know, he, he overran a little bit, but you know he's he's getting in all those situations and and he does a great job of of learning from his mistakes. I mean, he is every time he's uh, you know something's happened to him, he has not been a, a an air repeater. So uh, I'm glad he was in that situation. Now next time I know he'll you know he'll finish that that play. But it's great to see him you know aggressive in making that play. Would you say Colin was? A Managing the game today in a good way. Uh, there, everything was good. Uh, you know, I, I, right, right now, uh, you know, there's some. Even when we came in at halftime, there were some things we were we were doing good, and we wanted to do a little bit better. We made a few adjustments, um, and you know, it was a, it was a lot of good and a lot that you know good we can build on there. I'm sure we'll find the things that uh, that we can get even better at. Hopefully, Did you think it was his game or the offense. I, I mean, I thought. I thought his game was good. I'm, I'm, you know, trying to think of, uh, you know, things that uh, he could have done better. I mean, he, he executed extremely well. It looked like Frank hurt his left ankle down near the goal line, and he came out rested for a little bit, but he got back in there in the third quarter. Was he determined to get back out there and walk it off? Yeah, he walked it off. Uh, he looked like he got rolled on uh, down on the goal line, and you know, yeah, walked it off. Did the staff uh, get together to watch the Seattle game, or was it too early in the day to get anything done? It, uh, no, we didn't get together as a staff to watch it, but some of the fellows watched it, yeah. How were you, you, how are you able to execute your best running game of the season against a uh, good front seven? I thought it was a good game plan. I thought, uh, you know, great credit to, uh, to the guys up front, to Greg Roman, to Mike Solari, uh, the backs, Frank again. Uh, Bruce Miller thought had an outstanding night. Uh, Vernon blocked extremely well. It was a good, uh, you know, the precision was was very good offensively tonight. Do you, you, you empathize with the situation that Matt Schaub's going through? I mean, you just yourself being a quarterback and seeing the kind of ups and downs, the highs and lows that, you know, guys Schaub's having in here? Um, I mean, I've been, I had a lot, lot more lows than ups, so, uh, but, you know, he's a, he's a, He's a tremendous competitor, tremendous quarterback, and uh, you know, he'll bounce back. There's no question about that.